Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, episode of Erickson TV, Curtis here with Lauren. Hey Lauren. Hey everybody. Hey Lauren, uh, in today's uh, USA Today money section, which I'm not expecting anybody to be able to read that in the camera, <laughs> but um, there's an interesting article that to me was very, uh, I don't know if this, this is the right word, deja vu, um, to back about to March of 2009 when the when the uh, bear market uh, was at its bottom. Oh, okay. I was looking back at some of our older videos that, uh, that I did, and I was talking about, you know, at, at that time, how much cash was sitting on the sidelines. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, okay. And I thought, you know, this is good. It, it, when the money comes back in, the market's going to come back up. Um, right. So what was interesting is that the lead article was the financial crisis ushers in the age of safety. And um, the, the, I'm just going to read some highlights and, and ask for your comments. Um, in this paragraph, risk aversion is at unprecedented levels. Cash, which has a guaranteed rate of return of 0%, is one of the new must-have investments. In contrast, investing in spot, stocks, despite the fact that the market has doubled in value since March of 2009, is trade, and is trading at four-year highs and is up 11.7% this year to date, right. has fallen out of favor. Welcome to the age of safety. <laughs> The age of safety. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Well, zero percent nominal term return means you're losing money. Right. In real terms. And as costs go up. E right. Every day you're losing a little bit of money okay. for those cash investments. So this this is some new data that I haven't seen before. Uh, they looked at the the, the level of uh, individual individuals uh, hoarding cash. Oh. Okay. Back at uh, back in 2003, which was at the end of that bear market. Right. Um, there was about just a 3.9 trillion of cash sitting on the sidelines. Okay. At the, as of now, today, there's 9.4 trillion, 3 trillion sitting on the sidelines. Enough cash to buy 120 of the biggest S&P 500 companies. Whole. The entire company. <laughs> yes. <whole> company. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and in 2003, that cash was actually yielding something. That's correct. It's made a difference. <laughs> so, um, of course, uh, the, the, some of the, the reasons that is people, you know, have job security issues. Right. People have been had two really bad bull markets in the last decade. Uh, bear market, bear excuse market, me, yeah. uh, in the last decade. Um, and then uh, the, the difference is, is in that, uh, as we know, investor behavior is to chase returns. Right. So um, usually, when the markets go down, that's when people flee to cash. And right. then, as the market comes back up, people go back into the stock market. Uh, this time, they have not gone, gone back in the stock market. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I think one of the things that this happened too is that um, I think one of the unintended consequences of having interest rates be so low is that people are fleeing bonds too. Like they're not even putting their money into bond funds, which they used to, which they would have done in, in previous uh, times when when uh, when markets seem too scary or uncertain. And so the consequence is that people are just making absolutely nothing, which is not right. uh, not a rational way to. To look at the world right. or to uh, respond to it. So there's a couple of things I want to end this video with that I think are positives at near the end of the article. The, well, the last negative is, is this kind of scared me is an an, e an economic professor named Sun Wan Son from uh, from California State University. He he, he said that uh, in today's investment climate, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's as simple as that, which I think is terrible advice. Makes me nervous at a college like economic <laughs> professor teaching that. Uh, but uh, here's a good quote that I thought was really good. Um, uh, investors will return to stocks when they realize that playing it safe is keeping them from reaching their financial goals. Um, go. Right now, people are reaching for safety. Eventually, people will need to reach for return again. I think go. that's a good way to end it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, if you if you are one of these people that uh, are hoarding cash and do not know what to do, uh, please contact either Lauren or myself, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you for watching this episode of Erickson TV, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. See you next time.